In this video, I'm going to cover the most commonly asked question by golfers considering GS Pro as their golf simulation software of choice. The question is, will my PC run GS Pro or what PC should I buy to run GS Pro? So here we are on the GS Pro website. I'm going to click on the FAQ, go to system requirements, scroll down to 4K, and it shows 20 gigs of free space a graphics card of an NVIDIA RTX 3080 or better, and 32 gigabytes of memory. This does not mention the CPU requirements. I'm using an Intel i3 12th generation CPU and it runs it fine. I have a video that shows the loading of the CPU on my particular system, and I'll link to that at the end of the video. Suffice it to say, if you run an AMD Ryzen 5 or an Intel i5 or higher from there, this is gonna run just fine. So really GS Pro is determined by uh, the graphics card and not the CPU. The other things I would note here are in terms of hard disk space or SSD storage, I would recommend one terabyte of SSD storage and my preference would be two one gigabyte SSD storages. The reason I say that is it's nice to have one SSD dedicated to storing all of the courses that you want because the courses are quite large and they add up very quickly. Also, they recommend 32 gigabytes of memory here, but I've seen it run very effectively on 16 gigabytes of memory. Obviously more is not gonna be harmful, so certainly feel free to follow their advice of 32. Now let's focus in on the graphics card, the RTX 3080. And for that, we're gonna to go to another website, User Benchmark. And this allows you to compare uh, various graphics cards to one another and see how they stack up. So on the left, I've got the RTX 3080 that GS Pro recommended for 4K. And on the right, the RTX 4070, which is part of their newest lineup. So down here at effective speed, you can see that the 4070 is effectively 1% faster on average than the 3080. So in this way, the 4070 is going to provide the equivalent to the GS Pro recommendation of the 3080. So let's say you have an older PC and maybe you've got a 2080. So let's look up a 2080 card. So here's a 2080 Super. We compare that to the 3080 and we see the 3080 is 43% faster than the 2080. So most likely this card is gonna to struggle to run 4K. But if you remember on the FAQ, it said for an excellent 1080p experience to run the 3060 Ti. So if we go down to 3060 Ti, now you can see that the 3060 Ti and the 2080 Super are essentially equivalent. The 2080 Super is 2% faster than the 3060 Ti. So now you know the 2080 Super is gonna provide a excellent 1080p experience per the website on GS Pro where it recommends the various setups for different resolutions. Hopefully you found this helpful and now you can determine what PC requirements you need to run GS Pro. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below as I get back to 100% of the people that reach out to me. Well, that's it for the golf nerd. Hit them long and straight and I'll see you next time.